Well, uh, hello again, and uh, I've, I've done a, a really cool trick that they, uh, that they use in media. It's called uh, turning the camera 180 degrees from where I made the video the other day. Uh, this is to create the illusion that I live in some sort of utopian garden society, uh, when in reality, on the other side of the fence, uh, there are people there that are uh, talking to uh, existential voices and uh, disconnected familiar spirits, trying to get over the other side of the wall, and uh, presumably to take something of mine. At least that's what the guy uh, with the Ouija board on the other side of the fence was telling me a few minutes ago. Anyhow, as far as my book goes, I named my character, I named my protagonist in my book. So uh, in case those of you are following that closely, even though I just mentioned it for the first time yesterday, I want you to know that I'm now going to start imputing qualitative aspects to a personality of a person of a character that doesn't really exist except within the uh, cranial regions right here, within the weird uh, circumscribed and somewhat probably hydrocephalitic area that I grew up with here. Now, I'm also using this book, Stant Latour. Now, I've never talked to him even though he's my friend on Facebook and he's my friend in the blog world, and I've talked to him quite extensively about his books. I don't know if that's how you say his name because uh, he's probably never said mine either. By the way, Stant, if you're reading this, the last name is Giesick. Not Giesicke, not Giesicke. And if any German people run up and argue with you, well, you know, I don't know what. They're, they're wrong because my dad changed it and said they're wrong. Anyhow, this book is going to help me impute qualities into my characters. And uh, even though I think I'm fairly creative, um, I'm going to prevail upon the uh, creative inertia of other people. So thank you for writing this book. Uh, I bought this one at Barnes & Noble. It's called Characters uh, Your Readers Won't Forget. Uh, by the way, he's an excellent author, uh, and he paints really vivid pictures, and he's really great about making you invest in a character if you're into reading fiction. And I haven't really read tons of fiction in my life. I'm I'm a nonfiction guy if I have to put myself in a in a balkanized category. But nonetheless, uh, his stuff is worth reading, so make sure you get it. I'll talk about his stuff later. Uh, so uh, I was going to put a different video on today completely, and I realized I failed. And I want to talk about what the subject is, though, and I'll just go into this. It has to do with the propensity for people who work out and go to the gym and do all the pumping iron thing to pose like this for pictures. Take the picture. You see the veins? Yeah, okay, well, I'm going to go into that, but it's going to be in a lot more of a, of a strange category. I won't be able to discuss why, and you know why I'm not going to discuss why? Because why is a question that shouldn't be, uh, well, it's okay to explore possibilities why, but really, really, look at what all the debates are. Is there really a historical debate that Lincoln freed the slaves? No, he did it. But is there a debate as to why the content of his heart, whether or not he did it for uh, socio-political reasons or whether he really cared about the life of the black man and the woman and their family, that debate still rages because why is a hard thing to nail down. And this is why, by the way, I don't like hate crime legislation. That's not to say, by the way, for you extrapolating reflex monkeys out there that I go for hate. I don't go for hate. I, for all points and purposes, I hate hate. But... Hate crime legislation balkanizes the levels of a crime. So now, imagine how this got a sound in uh, in prison, you know, when you're walking into the pod for the first time like this, and they go, hey, what's that guy in here for? Yeah, they found him with human heads in his icebox. So murder, yeah. What's that guy in here for? Yeah, he killed somebody because, uh, well, you know, they were Jewish. Oh, well, that's called really mean murder, and we don't tolerate that in here. And of course they don't do that in here, because nobody in there cares why you did something. They just want to know what you did so that you can now be inserted into the uh, custodial pecking order that always happens uh, in prison where the strongest uh, tend to rule. It really is that way. And you know how I know? Because I'm a beta male. <laughs> Turn the camera off.